Hi guys, it's Ukrainian Ballroom Girl and today we're gonna talk how we turn our head in ballroom dance. Let's go! So let's talk about the head in the ballroom. A lot of moments we have in our routine where we're supposed to turn our head. And I saw a lot of mistakes while I teach my students where they turn their head and how it looks. So let's start. We have different type of turns of our head. Some of them we actually keep our head in the one like point and we just turn our body. In other moments we turn our head and feet. In some moments we just turn our head but it's because we create a sway. So let's like discuss that. Usually I see that people just turn their chins, which is like kind of why do you turn them? You what initiate the turn? Nobody knows. So they just kind of dancing and turn their chins everywhere and it looks like not good. Let's talk um, about first when we turn our body but our head stays. Let's talk about quick open reverse and uh, girls part. We go backward backward then here look i will keep my head here this way and then i just turn my uh, body of course i don't need to keep it like okay i stay here so i need to stay there for sure for sure, for sure. Uh, no uh, i keep it but then of course i know that for example this is my max one and eight but for some people they can turn a little bit more yeah it depends on the shape it's fine just don't turn it like fully to the shoulder and here I know for example my maximum, which looks great. Yeah, I can turn it a little bit more, but not too, that too much this way. So I feel that okay, I'm staying here in my maximum position, or like in that position that you really feel comfortable for the like moves where you really move. Uh, and then here I turn, I switch to that position. Okay, one and eight, for example. And then here I just from this moment I become like a statue. So and my feet will turn me continue to turn me, but my head will turn with this turner, so I kind of connect it together and then I go together, yes? So, again, I'm moving them, I allow them to switch, so my sternum go this way and she stay this way, then I go to this position and then I move together again. For the boys in this moment, they have a different type of turn. So here they put their foot and then they turn um, their actually feet more here. So they turn their feet and they're not turning head a lot. Uh, if they have shape to the right, so sometimes they have shape to the right, right? Then here they will do the anchoring and then feet and head together. So what I usually see, sometimes people turn head very early or they turn feet and then head. You need to start with the feet, start with the feet, but then we still keep turning feet and you finish with the head. So when you finish to turn your feet, at the same moment you need to finish to turn your head. Maybe you not start straight away together, but feet that kind of initiate because it's like all together. Like anchoring, turning feet, turning hips, turning body, and then head goes together. So it goes like kind of after, but you finish together. I hope that makes some sense. Let's do a right turn, uh, the part for the boys, yes, when they, for example, in the Venus world, when they turn their head to the right. So they also go forward, start to turn in their feet, then the feet and head. Yes, together. So feet starts, then you finish together. So left turn for girls, we do the first step of turn. We turn our body and head stays here, yes, stays, stays here, and then we close feet together. So for the sway turn, um, how we switch our head position. When we go do the left turn in the foxtrot, we anchor in this side and here we initiate our turn from sway. So we do the anchoring. For, if, if you're wondering how to do sway, you can go ahead and check my other videos. So then we turn here or we can just continue watching. So you create sway from lower part, upper here, or you can create from the second method for like for anchoring the upper part, but it doesn't matter. In the end, you can turn your head if you want to do that. So you can keep it here, but we're right now talking about 
pad, so it's gonna go sway, 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 and the last point of the sway is gonna be your hat. For the boys, for example, they are doing lunch, yes? So they do the sway from lower part, pom, 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 and here the last point is gonna be hat. So actually here, yeah, we turn our chin, but I don't turn my chin because I need to turn it. Um, I start sway from lower part and upper part, and here my sternum will start to uh, switch. From here it will go this way. And actually it feels like I keep my chin, and then I add a little bit extra. Only in the end I feel that I'm turning it actually. So it's sway, 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 and kind of my weight go in here, but because I do like kind of like pendulum swing a little bit here, it goes like that way, so because you see I follow my sternum and here I can add a little bit rotation in the end. The oversway, same stuff, I do pam 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 lower part, lower part, and you see it's because I use this sway. So my chin goes together with the sternum and in the end I can do a little extra rotation. And oversway throw away, pam pam pam, lower part, and you switch, 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 and in the end you can do extra rotation. So it's not like, okay, I will turn head, or here, or here. So and that's why usually the boys have that part here. Not like because if they would do it right, they would feel that they kind of they looking far away. For girls, for for example, hover core to the same stuff. We kind of do anchoring head, bum bum, and here it, uh, of course, here's the kind of sway and turning feet together. So we'll turn my feet, turn my, do the sway, and here with rotation of my feet, I will turn my head. Um, for the over sway throw away, I do the sway, lower part, upper part, and here's the kind of shoulders and then head. Then I go to the prominent, I do the anchoring side, and here it goes, it's two together, sway and turning on your feet. So sway, then I turn my feet, and I that's initiate the turn on my head, and then together we finish the turn. Wave. I go a step, like I did, I do the anchoring, and then it's initiate the turn on my head. Then I do the anchoring with rotation, and here I go forward and then here anchoring even more that can initiate the turn of my head. And don't turn to shoulder to shoulder. You need really to work on that, that you need to you turn this turn to the right, one and eight, and your neck, one and eight. And then you turn your sternum that way to the left, and your neck, one and eight. You can do a little bit more, or you can do even a little bit, not only that way, to the side and if you will engage and add your hips and more of your shoulder blades forward you can even create a backward little bit that's for girls and for boys same way here here yes and you also when you go up you can go with your hips a little bit more forward and then that will create like kind of a curve in your body so just go through all your routine and think where you need to turn your head for example in a spin turn why I took the, all the time this move because it's the one of the basic one. It's very helpful to understand all a lot of other moves. So here you turn your feet, and you, you don't need to turn your head because usually people, a lot of people think, okay, I will go there, so I need to look in advance what's going on there. No, you turn your body and you keep your head, but then if you will keep it fully, you see what's gonna happen. So I go to one my one and eight, which I know, so it, my turn one and eight here, hat one and eight here. And then from here I turn like a statue, yes? Then, from here I go to the stretch position that I have, I'll go this way. So it's going to be one and eight here and one and eight here. So one and eight on my sternum to the right and one and eight of my chin to the left. And then I will turn the whole body, yes? And I'm going to keep it. Then I keep it, then I turn my body first. Here allow it to turn it like it's like you can use two methods of left turn. So you either you kind of keep all the parts together, or either you allow your body to go a little bit and then you continue to turn your feet. So it's like another topic. So basically you just need to go through all of your steps. 
uh, for girls running right turn, she don't need to turn her head, but for example, she can turn uh, with the shape to the right. So she will do the anchoring, sway, then with, you see, I place my feet and then turn my head. Then step, and here, when the circle pass, I will use the anchoring of this side, and actually, you see, it kind of like keep my head here. Then I go this way, I do the anchoring, and I keep my head here. But you see, I'm not keeping like that straight point. I feel that I keep it until my right mass, and then I move it together. And then from here, I switch the side, go to the half of the step, and anchoring, and from here, it goes in the very end. So you just need to go basically through all your steps, and I'll show you one more, for example, walk. And you finish here, and you go step, step, and then you anchoring, you go around with your hip, and then with twisting your feet, with finishing your sway, you finish with your head. So let me go here. So you finish with your head, and here what you need to be careful, um, don't allow the shoulder to go up and this side to go down. So if you do the anchoring around, but then we also push the shoulder down. That in the position is not going to be broken. Okay, so just go through all the routine and think which kind of turn. When you turn your body, when you turn your feet and head, and when you turn your head because of this way. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> bye, 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 Queen. Bye. I hope you like it. It was very helpful for you. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let your friends know about it. And I'll be very grateful if you're gonna return to my next videos and I'll see you again. Mwah.